Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got uh, the love and desire card over here. So you might be uh, getting into some kind of uh, partnership or you, um, there might be uh, you know, a really good partnership coming in for you here on the business front, on the work front over here. Somebody that you can really, um, who will really help you sort through a lot of problems. Uh, somebody that you can really rely on as well. Uh, so uh, somebody dependable coming in over there for you. Now you've got the High Priestess card over there. So this is about uh, waiting for things to change. Uh, this is also about maybe doing some further study or further training, but also being very independent and, um, you know, um, Keeping a lot of things to yourself, it's important for you to keep uh, your ideas uh, and whatever you want to do, your plans, to yourself uh, because there could be people around you that could be stealing ideas. Now there's some kind of choice as well, you've got this black and uh, uh, white pillar over there, so there's some kind of choice that you have to make. Uh, and you need to go and do some further research uh, to find out what you need to do uh, by, you know, looking, um, doing that research to find out how to solve this particular problem or come to a solution to whatever you're uh, doing. So there's some kind of decision you have to make, but you do need to do some research. So you're pretty focused as well. Uh, there may have been something unexpected that came in over here, maybe some unexpected news or that has come in uh, that has changed uh, you know, the energies or shifted the energies. Uh, you are pretty focused on your career, uh, but something unexpected has happened. Maybe it's this partnership in itself, or maybe this person that you um, speak to um, will be somebody that provides uh, information in order for you to deal with whatever this choice is that you have to make. Now, uh, in the past, you've got the uneasiness card. So you have been dealing with a lot of difficult people. You could see a lot of opinions going on around you uh, and you know you've been trying to get a grip or uh, get a handle on it you've been trying to uh, get control of that situation as well it looks like if you've been having any disputes or any problems this has settled down um, and uh, maybe there's somebody that is uh, you know this is the patrimony card so this is somebody that's almost like a father figure in uh, you know where you're working uh, that is giving you some advice in order to deal with whatever this problem is that is going on so you might be dealing with a lot of disputes and you may have needed to go and get some help and support from somebody that is older or wiser or somebody more experienced than you in order to, for you to sort these problems out it looks like you know whatever information has come in from this particular person may be uh, you know very very helpful uh, this could be the person, you know, the love and desire card over here. So this is about you wanting to achieve goals but needing to have that help and support. And it looks like that has coming or is, will be coming in for you. Now going into the future, you've got the temperance card over here and you've got the solitude card. So the temperance card showing that you need to get a grip of thing, on things. You need to get some balance uh, to sort out this uh, problem. So maybe it's balancing your work and, uh, you know, your home life, that kind of balance. Or it could be just trying to uh, bring uh, conflicting parties together. So maybe, you know, uh, trying to find compromises so that everybody gets along pretty well. And, you know, you, it's obviously getting advice from this particular person who has experience on how to deal with all this conflict that, that is going on. And you need to get that balance sorted out. So you might be the mediator or the person that puts oil over, over water, calms the situation down. Uh, you've got the uh, Solitude card, which is uh, almost like the card of Virgo. So spending a lot of time focusing on your career, uh, being very independent. Uh, you could be studying, working very much by yourself as well with that Solitude card there. So those are the energies, uh, you know, are coming in for you. So there is somebody that is going to be very, very helpful to you. Uh, and it looks like once you get that balance back again, uh, you're going to be able to work independently and, uh, you know, not needing anybody else's advice or support. So initially, you will need that help and support to get you through this particular problem uh, by, uh, you know, somebody that is experienced. Um, and uh, once that settles down, you'll be able to, uh, you know, things calm down, really. Um, and this is about, you know, almost even having good ideas coming in as well. You've got that star over there. So this is about um, being focused, having new, making new plans for the future, and being very centered as well. So those are the energies for that week, those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the um, 
Book of Shadows Tarot for the main read. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Swords over here. So this is you being in charge uh, of a lot of people and maybe a lot of people, you know, questioning how things are done. So you can see this woman's giving instruction uh, and a lot of people taking uh, information from her. Now, the King of Swords also deals with official uh, decisions. It uh, deals with official matters. It also deals with legal issues. So you could be facing that as well. So there could have been some legal decision passed or some kind of legal uh, problem that you're dealing with on the work front as well. But it looks like you're in control of whatever the situation is with this uh, King of Swords. And it looks like you know, you're know you the person that's communicating a lot of ideas to people. So taking charge, giving instruction, uh, leading a team as well. And you know, you're being very, very professional about the whole thing. And whatever you're doing, whatever um, profession you're doing, uh, you know, it could be something that is very technical, very scientific as well, but, uh, you know, something that is cutting edge as well and um, very, very logical uh, kind of information is what you're giving out. So, you know, something in mathematics or something in the sciences uh, where you're, um, you know, having to put down information or, uh, or um, give off information that is uh, not emotionally based, rather, so, uh, you know, rather, um, um, you know, logical information. So it looks like you are heading a team over there, and you might be in a teaching kind of role as well uh, with this King of Swords over here. On the, on the flip side, it could be about dealing with legal issues and a legal, a legal um, decision being made, because the King of Swords is uh, um, a card ruled by Archangel Michael, so it's a justice card, really. So uh, it usually, uh, you know, uh, revolves around um, official... Um, decisions being made. And you've got the Seven of Swords over there, and that's crossed by the Two of Swords. So there's some kind of decision that has to be made. And like I said, it's got to do with a lot of, you know, it's a lot of cold hard facts that you're dealing with at this particular moment. Now, with the Seven of Swords, it's about, you know, a bit of deception going on. So there's something that's not quite right over there that you need to get a handle on. Um, you know, there's uh, something uh, that you need to go and do some research on and find the truth really to this particular issue so you could well be dealing with legal issues at this particular moment and needing to get some kind of legal advice on how to actually proceed you really don't know how to proceed you're in a bit of a dilemma over here there's some kind of missing information you can see her eyes are closed and this person's looking for information uh, so whatever you're dealing with you could even be dealing uh, you know you could be working in the law in itself doing a lot of research trying to sort through um, you know legal issues as well and it looks like you may need to go and do that research in order to uh, reveal uh, information in order for you to make a decision. Uh, and so, um, and this will affect whatever this judgment is. So it's about dealing with cold hard facts right now and the need for you to go and do research. Uh, so something is hidden. Be aware that, you know, there could be some kind of lies or some kind of deceit or something's not quite right. Uh, in whatever situation you're dealing with, because it's the Seven of Swords. So if you're dealing with something legal, maybe uh, you know you, your client has not given you all the information that you need, or you need to find out more information about this particular case that you're dealing with. So you do need to go and do some research. You need to go and uncover the truth as well before you, you make any moves. So in the past, you've got the um, Eight of Wands over here. So you've been dealing with a lot of people, a lot of communication over there. Things have been moving pretty quickly. You might have been doing a lot of travel as well. You can see almost as though she's manifesting. So you've had a lot of ideas uh, that you're trying to put into place over here. And you're dealing with a lot of problems trying to sort through that. You're pretty focused on whatever it is you're doing. Now you've got the Ten of Wands. So working late hours, a lot of responsibilities. So whatever this is that you're working on is keeping you um, working quite late, taking on that responsibility. You can see she's coming out pretty late at night and opening the door to come home. Uh, and it's the Ten of Wands. So whatever it is, is almost um, coming to an end over here. There's just like 
almost like one piece of information or some information that is missing, uh, and that will bring in uh, closure to this particular case once you find this out. The Ten of Wands is about ending all this hard work that you've been putting on. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed as well and pretty tired uh, with this Ten of Wands card. Now, you, on your mind, you've got the King of Wands, so you're trying to get to sort out some kind of very, very difficult situation. It looks like there's been a lot of drama in this particular issue that you're dealing with, uh, and you know, you're trying to get on top of it as well. Uh, you can see there's a lot of fire in that card, so you know, you're trying to sort out something that has got, uh, you know, there's a lot of fire energy over here, so there's a lot of problems, and you're trying to sort it out on a legal basis as well. So this could be something to do with your work that you're trying to bring closure to. Maybe there was problems within the work, and you're trying to take control as well with that King of Wands. So you focused all your energy on this particular thing. A lot of people are admiring you for what you're doing uh, at this particular point, and they do see you as a very strong leader as well and somebody who can take control of that particular situation. So you are very much in charge of whatever it is you're doing, but you are trying to do it from a very logical point of view, and you do need to do, go and find that information or do that research to find that information in order for you to bring closure to this particular situation. Now, going into the future, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. So things are going to come to, uh, you know, its conclusion, and it looks like you're going into this phase where you're going to be working pretty hard and also learning as well on the job. So it might be that you're ending contracts with an old uh, situation or ending that particular case, um, job, um, moving on maybe to something where you're going to be doing a lot more study uh, as well as working. Uh, on that particular job, and maybe specializing in whatever it is you're doing. So you are pretty experienced, but you are enhancing your skills as well, and it looks like there's further training that is coming in as well. Maybe this is the reason why there's this decision that you need to make, um, whether or not you want to go further and you want to do further study as well with this job. So there might be a new post that is coming in for you that requires, uh, you, you know, it requires you not to be so hands-on because there's been a lot of responsibilities. Uh, you've been working pretty hard, uh, but it gets you into more relaxed position. So after working pretty late, it seems like you know late hours, long hours with that eight of wands, uh, with the ten of wands. It looks like you're going to the eight of pentacles, where you are now, um, you know, focusing on learning and focusing on uh, bettering yourself or improving your uh, skill set as well with that eight of pentacles. So it looks like you just need to hang in there. You are spending a lot of time on whatever you're doing. You're putting a lot of energy in, in, into it. And you just need to hang in there, have the resilience to go forward. Uh, you do have it. You've got to pull it out of the hat, really, uh, and uh, you know, go for it with that strength card. So what's happening around you? Uh, you know, there are going to be a little bit of uh, a few pitfalls in whatever it is you're doing. Uh, you can see this child's got his knee scraped over there. So there has been a few, um, you know, hits, uh, misses rather than hits, and uh, it looks like, uh, you know, you need to just keep going. With that Empress card, if you keep going, uh, it looks like abundance is coming in and you will improve your uh, financial uh, status as well, because the Empress is ruled by Venus and this is about personal finances. Uh, whatever job you're doing, it, it's very care you've got a very caring side to it as well. So it seems like you know people do turn to you for help and support as well. And they do see you as a, a sort of a maternal figure as well, somebody that they can turn to for that advice. Uh, somebody who will take care of them, uh, you know, especially if they've got any problems. So whatever problems you've had with, it, with whatever you're doing at the moment, even if there's been a bit of... Um, you know, you've been let down or disappointed, whatever disappointments you've been dealing with, you need to have that resilience and just keep going, just uh, hang in there, really. So in your hopes and fears, you've got the Four of Swords, and this is being so swamped over with work that now what you're wishing for is uh, a nice vacation, uh, some time out, uh, and it might be a good time for you to go and take a little bit of a holiday and a break, and you're definitely thinking about that. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got that Four of Wands, uh, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Emperor. So whatever you've been working for looks like it's coming your way. With the Four of Wands, it's about celebration. It's about establishing security. Uh, you know, this is the 
maybe it's a new contract as well because this is the wedding card it's talking about new contracts so maybe you're going to be signing something new ending an old job in itself um, you know breaking a contract with an old job moving on to something new and there's a celebration over there and it's going to give you a lot more leisure time a lot more time to spend with family friends you know getting um, uh, entertaining people as well now, this could also be that if you take on a new role, it's going to be working with a lot of people. The Four of Wands is about working with a group of people uh, and being in charge of that particular team, but also doing a lot of travel, a lot of collaboration as well, because it's the Wands cards, uh, and you know, just uh, being a bit more relaxed as well. Now, you've got the Nine of Pentacles over there, so a lot of money coming in as well. So whatever this new role is that you're going to be taking or new job contract that you might be signing is definitely going to give you a lot of financial independence, uh, but also it's going to mean that you're going to be working very independently and you're going to be able to man uh, accumulate quite a lot of finances. The Nine of Wands is also about a lot of recognition coming in for your work. Uh, but it also looks like you're going to have a lot more time to yourself as well. Now you've got the Emperor card over here, so you're being in charge over there, taking control of that situation, and maybe whatever new role you're going to be taking on is going to be uh, managing resources as well as people. So it looks like soon you're going to be pretty busy. Now the Emperor card and the King of Swords cards are almost sister cards within the deck itself. They're all about legal decisions and judgments coming through because both these cards are ruled by Archangel Michael and they're talking about, you know, maybe signing new contracts, maybe getting a particular position of authority, um, but something that requires a lot of logical thinking uh, and it may even uh, mean some kind of legal decision coming in that is going to be uh, have a very positive outcome. Uh, but in both these uh, cards, you can see them, t uh, you know, this person is taking control, uh, communicating with a lot of people, uh, maybe working with a lot of facts and figures uh, and being very, very logical and working very independently and a lot of people coming to you for advice as well. Um, or you're going to be, you know, um, giving out a lot of information. These are cards of power and these are cards of you know higher positions as well so being in authority so being at the top of your game as well in whatever you're doing but also being in authority and it's going to generate a lot of finances and it's going to allow you to uh, you know have this is almost like a celebration card the, the fourth ones well it is a celebration card but a celebration for getting a position of authority and being very much in control. So it looks like things are moving up for you there. Uh, it looks like all this hard work will pay off. So whatever you're focusing on is going to be paying off. Uh, you know, if you're uh, even writing exams, so forth with this um, um, Four of Pentacles, it looks like, you know, there's success that comes in, especially with that Four of Wands, so a celebration coming in over there. But you just need to keep going. Uh, so hang in there and keep going. It looks like, you know, even if there are disappointments, uh, you've got that Empress card over there that generates abundance anyway. So you will be successful at whatever you're doing. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot for uh, the Oracle read. So you've got the four of winter over here, and this is a need for you to take a little bit of a break. So set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation and the need for more sleep uh, and relaxation. So you do need to take that break. You are thinking about taking some kind of a break or a holiday, and it looks like, you know... Um, the oracle cards are telling you that you do need that now you've got the chariot card a card of victory and success success that comes from dedication and self-discipline celebrating your accomplishments being in the spotlight so whatever you're doing is going to have a very successful outcome you might be even moving home with that chariot card but there is about whatever effort you've been putting into this particular project uh you know it's going to be a roaring success and then you've got the Hierophant over here. So whatever success that comes in over here gives you this kind of teaching, mentoring position that you uh, take. And you can see that coming through uh, with this uh, King of Swords. So there's almost two aspects to this job that you're going to be doing. One where you're working alone and doing a lot of research and being in charge in that sort of way. But also, you know, at a point where you're actually teaching and mentoring people as well. And you've got that Unity card, uh, which is a card ruled by Taurus. So this is also do the right thing for the right reasons. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see what works for you. So it looks like, you know, this is a role of where you're going to be a teacher or a mentor. You can see this old man teaching this little boy here. 
showing him the ropes. So whatever position you're coming into right now, it's going to be something where you're teaching, mentoring people, giving advice. You could even be learning as well with this uh, Unity card or the Hierophant card as well. So, you know, it looks like all that hard slog might well be over over there. And, uh, you know, it's now time where you're going to start uh, gathering the rewards because you have got that Nine of Pentacles and that is the money coming in there for you. But just keep going. You just need to hang in there. Be positive. Keep going and know that your efforts will be rewarded. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Give me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.